Yo, what's going on guys? Check out this hat real quick. This is my Seoul National University hat. It actually has a lot of clout in Korea. <laughs> um, but yeah, just joking. Welcome back to the channel, guys. Today we're gonna be doing the South Korea Seoul National University Q&A. For those of you who didn't know, pre-COVID I went on exchange to South Korea. I went to Seoul National University and yeah, it was an amazing experience. I made a video about it, like a day of my life video. It's one of my most viewed videos actually. It has almost 100K views. And I got a lot of comments in the comment section about different questions you guys had. I know it's been a little while, but I still wanted to create the video that answer some of your guys' questions because I think they'll be super valuable. For anyone who's considering going on exchange to Korea, or SNU specifically as their top choice. I think you're gonna find some value in this video. Drop a like if you guys find this video helpful and also if you're new to the channel, welcome. Hit that subscribe button. Without further ado, let's get right into the South Korea Seoul National University Q&A. First question I got is actually a pretty common one. Do we need to know Korean to study there or can we only know English? I get this one a lot along with, are all your classes offered in English? Yes, your classes are gonna be all in English, so don't worry about that. Make sure when you're selecting your classes, you're very careful. I accidentally made the mistake of signing up for this Korean class. <laughs> In terms of getting around the campus, talking to people, I would say the majority of students at SNU do speak some English. Shouldn't be too hard on the campus with just English. So you live in the city center in Seoul, thinking about going to SNU for my exchange and I saw that they offer accommodations on campus. What is the best option? SNU actually does offer accommodation in the dorms. Pros of that is that they're a lot cheaper. I think they're literally only 100 to 200 bucks per month. You're also a lot closer to the campus. So it's super easy to get to all your classes. The cons however, are you do have a roommate and unless you guys have the same sort of schedule or priorities, that might be a bit of an issue. But for me, I stay by Seoul National University subway station so I live like right here and we have to walk about five minutes to get to the buses the buses usually come every five minutes in the morning and it was just a lot more accessible to the city it was a little bit more expensive I stayed in the shared housing called the vendors housing so I had my own room but I had a couple different flatmates they were actually all other exchange students from different countries which was cool Calvin that is from Australia Toy. And this was around 500 US, 550 US, so a little bit more expensive, but definitely more accessible to the city. And only a 15 minute uh, bus ride up the hill to the campus. How did you get to enter SNU? Seoul National University is the number one university in Korea. I believe it's ranked 60th in the world in terms of universities, which is pretty high. So it is a very hard school to get in if you're a local Korean student. However, international students, it's a lot easier. For me, I had to compete with other university students at Queens. We have a partnership with SNU, so it really wasn't too hard to get in. I just had to meet the minimum GPA requirement. Is it hard to study there? Do you have a lot of free time? Like I kind of said before, as an exchange student, my school, it was pass or fail. So this kind of took a lot of pressure off on the courses and the course load, um, which was really chill. <laughs> I had one of my classes as baseball. Oh, that means you're coming out tonight. <laughs> so yeah, I did actually have a lot of free time, which I really got to kind of explore Seoul, travel around, take different trips on the weekends, which was cool too. The next question, how long have you been studying Korean? Honestly, before I went to Korea, I didn't know any Korean, but when I was in Korea, every time I was out with my Korean local friend or students, I'd be at like a restaurant or a bar or something, and I'd be like, how do I say this? Just kind of day-to-day -day phrases that I'd use a lot. Mekchuchaseo. How would you, so like every time I thought something was valuable that I could actually add into a conversation, I would ask my Korean friend and be like, yo, how do I say this? And then on my notes in my phone, this is really jokes, I would have this entire list. So yeah, I had this entire list of different Korean phrases on my phone. And it was like, for example, I don't have a girlfriend. I don't know why I had this one but it would be like, yo chingu opsa. I wouldn't write it in Korean because I couldn't fully read Korean yet. So I would just kind of spell it out as how you would say it in English. But yeah, that was kind of my way in like learning different words. I get like super pumped up when I can like say a new phrase and talk to someone and yeah, I think it's super cool. So it would definitely help to learn some Korean before you go. I didn't know any, but what are you or did you study at SNU? I studied business. What is Korean pop culture class? 
What do you learn? Is it an option class? Can you explain more? Now I'm headed to my uh, last class of the day. It's called uh, Anthropology of Korean Pop Culture. So it's kind of a fun course. So yeah, as an exchange student, you take a lot of different electives. Anthropology of Korean Pop Culture. My buddy Brandon did a presentation on the drinking culture in Korea, and I did one on the dating culture, which was super funny. But yeah, you basically just learn about Korea, which is sweet. Is being an exchange student very expensive? Relative to other exchange destinations, for example, Australia, Europe, I would say living expenses are pretty cheap. Me and my friends found this all-you-can-eat Korean barbecue place for like, I think it was 11 bucks, and it was unlimited beer for like two hours, so. You can definitely find a lot of cheap dinner and lunch spots. Day to day, I would say maybe like 20 bucks a day for food. Transportation, maybe a few bucks. It's pretty cheap. What are the grades to get into SNU for the exchange program? I'm currently at a European university and the scaling is different from there. My university was super weird too. We operate on like a 4.3 GPA scale. All you needed for SNU was a 3.4, so around an 80 average, high 70s. Hey man, glad to find this video. I'm hoping to pursue my master's at SNU. How was the application process? I'm shooting for fall 2021. So my application process was pretty straightforward. I think it honestly varies by your home university. Once I knew I was going to SNU, um, it's kind of crazy. So they send you a time, you have to select all your courses. And then for me, because I was in BC, like in Canada, it was like five in the morning for me. So I had to wake up on the specific day the lady from SNU told me like beyond at this time like the Korean students have super fast Wi-Fi and like we'll we'll get the classes before you so like you gotta wake up early and I was like this girl is joking but woke up at 5 a.m. like got my first class right away I didn't get my second class I forget what it was but everything fills up super quickly so the day you select your courses even for exchange students stuff fills up really quickly. So that's all that I would say in terms of the application process. Other than that, it's pretty straightforward. Also like to know how much tuition fee and is it possible to work after the university? So I just paid typical tuition at my university. I believe that's the case for most. Is it possible to work after the university? For a few months, I was like, yo, I love Seoul so much. I wanna work here. I'm gonna stay here in the summer. Cause the exchange dates were from February to June. So I was kind of screwed for like getting an internship back home. So I was looking into working there. You basically need Korean if you're trying to get like a business job there, like an internship. So I didn't do it. There's definitely opportunities there though. Cause I so much me. Yeah, that's about it. If you did like the video, drop a like. It really helps out the channel with the algorithm. And um, if you're new to the channel, welcome. Hit that subscribe button. If you do have any more questions too, you can drop them in the comment section below. And I could make another Q&A about Korea. But yeah, that wraps up the video, guys. Thanks so much for watching. I will see you guys in my next video. Peace.